welcome back to another weekly vlog and it's just not any weekly vlog guys we are currently in dun 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 singapore dun 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 why oh, is that to zoom up like it's that? so pretty we're staying at the park royal marina bay look how beautiful our hotel is guys oh my god these are all real trees guys real trees who's looking after these real trees they even play fake bird noises. Oh my god, it's real. <gasps> it's a real bird. <laughs> How's it so loud? I tried the new One Size Beauty face powder today. And oh my god, my skin looks so smooth. I feel like I didn't bring enough powders with me on this trip. Why? I don't know, because it's so hot and humid out here. So I need the powder for my oily ass skin. We're gonna go and do some shopping today because the weather is so rainy. I'm so gutted guys, because I really wanted to go to this place called Sentosa Island, where like Universal Studios is. But the weather is literally like this for the whole time we are in Singapore. So I'm someone that's coming from the UK where it's raining less all the time. This is a very sad moment for me on my holiday. It rained in Bali, it rained in Australia, and now it rains in Singapore. So yeah, maybe January is not a good time to go traveling, guys. <laughs> we just made it to this iron shopping center and it's huge. It has like all the big designer brands. And I wanna try to look and hopefully find my first designer bag purchase. Grab bought me a Louis Vuitton bag for my 30th birthday and it's a big Neverfull one, but I want like a small little crossbody and I think it's time, but I just don't know what brand. Should it be Louis Vuitton? Prada? Should it be Dior? We don't know, so we're gonna go inside and like maybe try some more. Go get yourself a Rolex. Oh, a suit of Rolex, yeah. Okay. Instead of all these hair bands. <laughs> Okay, this is the first contender we have, YSL. We've been into Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Fendi. This YSL one's really cute because you can make it like a longer crossbody and it also has a handle. Or you can make it like more like a shoulder. I want a gold that's a bit more like gold, gold. This is more like a vintage gold, but I want something a bit more like brighter. Guys, what do we think about a Dior bag? The only thing I feel like the bag is a bit too big, but I like the fact that you can make it like short like this as well. And I prefer the gold of this, it's a little bit more chubby, a bit more my style, you know? <laughs> we have the East West bag here. This is the slightly bigger one. I feel like this was a bit too big. Like this is a bit more like statement, but this is like so cute. I think this is the one. I've been trying to find a perfect crossbody bag for so long. I also like this black one as well. I feel like this one's a bit more timeless, a bit more chic. And I prefer the strap of this. Ah, guys, I'm buying it. I'm getting my first designer bag purchase. I said to myself, I want to treat myself to nice things this year because I deserve it. I work fucking hard for this shit. I've been trying to find a crossbody bag that is like casual enough but also fits my phone and i feel like this is just like perfect it's like the gold hardware that i like oh it's so cute i just love the fact i can wear it like this because i think i would actually wear it like this on a night out guys we did it i got my little dior bag and look they also gave us these little red envelopes for chinese new year our bubble has just popped a little bit i'm so sad so basically we bought the bag and then me and Grail was like walking was like, let me just check how much this bag is in the UK. Why is the bag like £500 cheaper in the UK? I'd rather wait to go back to the UK and buy the bag there. Even though we can claim about 8% tax back, I think at the airport, it's still £150 more expensive. So now I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna have to go refund this bag and wait until I get to London and get the bag there. That's so annoying. I feel like it's just popped my bubble of getting my first designer bag. Does anyone else find money from other countries so interesting? Like, look at this. The dollar dollar bill, come get it. Wait, how are we gonna go to the ice cream man and give them $50 bills? He's gonna have to give us change, isn't it? So guys, I just went to go get the little ice cream man and I felt so bad because we only had a $50 note. So I was like, let me just get two. So I got one in a wafer, this is chocolate chip, and then one salted caramel brownie in the bread. Ice cream sandwich. What about a knuckle sandwich? I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. Touch of bread. Ice cream in bread. I'm gonna try this ice cream sandwich. Mm. I never thought to put ice cream inside of a piece of bread before, but it works. They had like sweet corn flavor, they had durian flavor. Cheers. Apparently this one's thinner. Mm. I'm up Very for that cool. one. Well, that was embarrassing. We just went back to Dior. Oh, now we're bagless again. 
you know what? Yeah. This is what I get for trying to be bougie, trying to be fancy, trying to fit in with everyone. <laughs> and then I go back to my cheap old ways, trying to get a bargain. <laughs> to be honest, like, 500 pounds is a lot of money. Yeah. Like, could have got us, like, Another bag somewhere else. Spend your money wisely and don't do stupid stuff like we yes, just do. Yes, exactly. Anyways, now we're gonna go and do a bit more of something that me and Guy are more used to, which is go to the street food market. This place is called Maxwell's Food Court and apparently it's one like a Michelin star. And we're gonna go and get some chicken and rice. Okay, so this is what Guy came for, guys. Maxwell Heine's chicken and rice. Right, you finally got your chicken and your rice. Queuing up for ages for this. Yeah, gotta get the sauce in there. Guy has been waiting for this ever since he saw this on TikTok. Is it good? Yeah, good. It's a flavour. Okay, so the next stop is Marina Bay Sand. We have to kind of find places that's indoor because as you can see, it's chucking it down with rain. Okay, so this is what I'm getting, guys. It's basically like a sizzling plate with sweet corn and meat, loads of pepper. Oh my god, it looks so good. Now, okay, here's what I ended up getting, guys. It's teriyaki chicken with a little bit of an egg, sweet corn, green beans, and some rice. And look at this fatty. Look, he's going back for seconds. Who's the biggest fatty of them all? This one right here. The head nod. The epic head nod. Go on, show them the nod. <gasps> We found Grand Store. Look, QP. Copying my logo. I feel like they literally have a hundred malls here. Every single mall has Balenciaga, Chanel, Gucci, Dior. And I'm just like, how many Dior stores do you need in one city, you know? Okay, this is one thing that gets my gears going. Snacks in other countries. Look at this. Fried egg flavor. Got some fried eggs for you. Fried eggs there. <laughs> Look at these cherries. Oh my god, they're from Australia as well. You know, Australia probably does the best cherries ever. Got this as well. Some Taiwanese chicken crisps. You ready for day two of Singapore? It's not raining. Uh, let's just check the weather and we have from 10 to 1 where there's no rain. So we need to make a quick run for it. I want to go to a place called Haji Lane, Booger Street. Let's make a run for it, guys. How cute is my outfit today? Okay guys, so we just arrived to Booger Street and this is the type of shit that I love. Like these that like, market things you can't get in the UK. It literally reminds me so much of Hong Kong. So let's go and see what we can find. I'm on the hunt to try to find something called Ormai, which is like dried plum. Guys, excited. Look what we came across. This is like dried jerky. And you can only get it in Singapore as well. So he's been craving for this. Oh god, they cook it literally fresh at the back. They cook it daily. Guys, they literally made it fresh and it's still warm. It's so good. It's like a really sweet, sticky jerky. So we made it to a place called Booker Chan. It's the cheapest Michelin starred meal in the world. Okay, so our barbecue meat just come out. Oh my god, looks good. We've got a plate of noodles as well. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit of the chicken, which is what they're famous for. Cheers. So soft. We're literally in the streets of Singapore, right? 11.30 and we're doing some street photography. Oh my god, it's so and pretty. It's so sick. Yeah, it's so cool because no one's around. And we literally were just walking down the streets of Singapore. It was like, we don't want to go to bed yet. And we end up in this place called Arab Street. And look how beautiful. I really feel like I'm in another country right now. It's so beautiful. It's our third and final day here in Singapore. Literally just getting ready now. But I bought this one size powder from Sephora when I was in Australia. And guys, I've been loving it. It makes your skin look so smooth. I also went shopping yesterday in like a local shopping mall. And I found this brand called kaleido and they have like really cute jewelry the jewelry is like gold plated and i've been trying to find a rope necklace like this for ages look how pretty it is and it's like the perfect gold as well so, look guys how nice is that i literally can't wait to go home and go back to my wardrobe <laughs> because i'm so sick of living out my suitcase this is literally like the last decent kind of outfit that i have today so because today's our last day we're going to go to a place called vivo city i heard they have amazing dim sum grounds on a hunt to try to find some roast duck and then we're also going to finally go to gardens by the bay today i have been waiting to go to gardens by the bay in singapore they have like this avatar world that they just opened up and you guys know avatar is one of my favorite movies of all time so let's go we made it to Gardens by the Bay and I'm so excited that we left it to the last day because it's not rainy, we don't need an umbrella. They just opened up a new Avatar experience. Ah! Oh god, is that going into Avatar? Wow. Oh my god. 
look guys. So if anybody would like a photo with her, you can come in through this way. We guys. made it to the top guys. Look. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Look over the edge. Come on. Oh my god. Let's see what's down there. Oh my god. Oh, that's so scary. Why don't I drop the camera right now? Bye. See ya in another day. <laughs> oh, I love you so much, babe. Oh, look. We're in such a special place right now. This place is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. Especially because I recently got into plants, I can really appreciate like there is not one bad leaf. Like all the leaves are thriving. So these are little banshees. <laughs> Baby one! Oh my god, it's so cute. We're in the second movie. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Yeah, awesome. This is so cool. Guys, that just made my whole Singapore trip. It's so beautiful. I don't know why I was waiting for the rain to die down. You could have done that even if it was rain or snowing outside. It feels so special as well because this is a once in a lifetime experience. Because probably if you ever come back in the future, it probably won't be like the whole Avatar thing. It was like really avatar -y. Very magical, guys. It was Very so magical. magical. Now I'm going to go in a place called the Flower Dome. Oh my God. This is so fucking beautiful. Oh my god. It is very cold, guys. <laughs> the nipples are frozen. The toes are erect. This place is like a wonderland. But everywhere that I turn, I'm like, wow. I can't even believe that, like, this is a real thing. Guys, this is actually so beautiful. This is actually so free. This is from a tree. How mad is that? Just us, us. and nature. We like exploring that with little kids. How sick is that? Someone has carved out a little dragon thing. Who knows the tale of the hare and the tortoise? This is me and Graham, literally to a T. I feel like I am like the fast rabbit bitch. <laughs> rabbit rabbit and then Graham's a slow ass bitch. But then the tortoise wins the race. I always win the race. <laughs> literally so magical guys. I know, it's so pretty. Mm. Alright, stop kissing the <laughs> vlog. Oh, so magical, isn't it? Oh, it's so beautiful. I so can't magical. believe it. And I'm so happy. Like, it's not raining today, guys. Oh my god. This is sick. Your inner child comes out and you're being adult and no one can tell you that, boy. Yeah. We're going to buy one of these balloons. I want to buy one of these. $12. $12. Oh, <laughs> <For blue. laughs> my nice. Let's just go. No, it's just so nice. Let's just buy it. Okay. What's $12? The kid here wants one. <laughs> Me. Tweed's been a kid. <laughs> I'll make it shorter just to be safe, try to avoid the trees. Oh, <laughs> pay for it then. Oh, yeah. The pay for it. Oh, my God. I look like I've gained so much weight on this trip because I've been eating way too much. Look at this. Oh. Oh, so nice. Okay, guys. So, we're going to end the vlog with this beautiful with you guys staring up at the sky we're so grateful because this is like the end of our trip and we have been wanting there to be like no rain i feel like me and Graham have been struggling the whole trip because of the rain and this is like the perfect way to end our trip guys the lights and everything is so magical and you have to really appreciate it and enjoy it this is a great way to start 2023 thank you so much for watching guys. bye Bye guys! Bye. <laughs> this is how Philippe's parents pack. I swear, half of my tickets is closed and the other half is just snacks. They see me rolling, they hating. <laughs> Grant's giving me some five star service over here, guys. She yeah. walks too slow, guys, so you have to put it on a trolley like a child. Who has time to walk these days? Not me. The intro late now. Go on then. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is X Wheelie and I'm double chin. <laughs> this is the perfect shot for you right now. I think everyone will subscribe by looking at this chin. <laughs> Back's cracking, getting old, and just nothing better than laying on the bed. Back's cracking, knees are nobbling, <sighs> toes are curling. <laughs> oh god. It's all going down in Marina Bay Sands. SG. Stands for Singapore. <laughs> I was like, what's SG? Sexy girl.
There's a bad boy song. Wait, 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 wait for the sexy girl. That's only me I know. Please, having a drink. Piss in your mouth. Give me a big load. Hello there, Quack. Hello. Oh, what about a time? <laughs> it's like it's telling you bedtime stories. The motherfucking kids are weird, daddy. I'm tired of time. Guys, I'm fucking crying. But our guys on my phone is so hilarious. Guys, Greg needs to delete some old videos because he has the whole story on his phone. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor